Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back and guess what? It's nearly Christmas time. <laughs> yeah, so we've come out to another garden centre because a few bits that we still need for Chico, isn't there? Yeah. Just brought Chico to the main door and there's no dogs allowed. In a garden centre. I could have sworn they allowed dogs, didn't they? Mark said they were allowed briz dogs. We've come some years ago with Woody, I'm sure we allowed, but they might have changed it anyway. Might have been dogs pooing too much inside or something, so. TMI. But it is nearly Christmas, isn't it? And there's it only is. one thing, come to a garden centre for Christmas. So. <laughs> this is Barton Grange in, is it Preston? Near Where Preston, are? north of Preston, yeah, sort of, yeah, that area. So, in, play, in a little village or town called Barton. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, so let's go and see what Barton Grange has got installed for this. All the have spotted. Straight on it, aren't we? Presents. Presents for me, Mark. For anyone who's watching who doesn't uh, live in the UK, you make your tea in that, don't you? And then put a cosy over it. I think teapots are worldwide, Mark. It's not mm -hmm. not, not, not native to the UK. And then you put your tea bags in and you just keep pouring tea out, right? <laughs> this is well good for Van Effens in miniature. Hey, you put two on, you do an impression of a crab. <laughs> So Barton Grange is quite a large garden centre, it's part of a national chain, I can't remember what the, the company's called or only, uh, but it is, throughout the year we do seasonal activities, so now it's Christmassy obviously because we're nearly Christmas, we're not. and we have different things on, I'll show you the little, we should have a little model village with trains and stuff, and we, we saw one of them before didn't we? Yeah, um, we used to, we've come before a long long time ago with our daughter, so... Well, we're going to have a look round, aren't we, and take you around with us, and uh, we just thought we'd uh, show you a bit of Christmas. We found Christmas, definitely found Christmas. Did I say it's nearly Christmas? It's Christmas tomorrow, <laughs> isn't it? I need a shave as well. Look at these, these big flowers, Mark. Yeah. We do put these sort of garden centres, they do put a lot of work into all the displays. We mm. probably have people come in and do it, I guess. Well, they have a colour theme going on here, don't they? This is pinks. Then you've got the golds and the browns over that way. Yeah. And you've got, oh, look at this carousel, Mark. This is like your... This is Palmer Violet. Oh, look, Palmer Violet. Well, it's a colour, isn't it? Look at that up there. When I look at that up there, first thing that springs into my mind, that display up there is Palmer Violet. Them little sweets and purple sweets. Why? Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's going to be Christmas tomorrow. Hope you're all ready because we're not. What are you doing? Go out for a wine glass. Yeah, that'll go well at motor on, won't it? <coughs> the only downside, the only, only downside about living in your motor home, you can't buy any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'd go crazy at Christmas normally. You want a trailer to put it all in, but then you can't I'm see I'm struggling this year because, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm not being duped out at Christmas, but just can't do the Christmas that I normally do. These things, obviously, it's got, the thing is, it's for a few weeks of a year. But Days. What about, well, the Christmas is, but there's things where you say, I'd love to buy that, but we haven't got room in my trunk. But what about all the months coming ahead where we're going to Europe? And that's what I mean, that's, that's the only only thing, the only little downside. It's only a little downside, really. When when all this is gone, you forget about it, don't do you? With, it's to do with your materialistic, I think, is a word or not, isn't it? And I'm well, not I, I was. You I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not anymore. I mean, I'd sell you if I could. Now that's one thing I don't like at Christmas. I love them, me. Yeah, they look pretty, but then you get, you get you go it puts all rubbish all over your Christmas day dinner table, and then you end up throwing all the little bits away because you don't need them. But then you get from a very cheap one, you used to get a little plastic frog you could flick, and then fish, <laughs> a little fish what curled up on your hand. Oh yeah, but yeah. And then these ones we've got in. So look. Look, pens, bottle openers, necklaces. Right. You're not going to put a wine pour on your bottle because the wine never lasts long enough. You've got about a thousand bottle openers, a thousand tools, mm. we don't measure anything and we've got a thousand pens, so you're going to pay £17 for stuff that you're not going to use. A lot of money, aren't they? But there is some ones that you can buy, but a lot, I think they're hundreds of pounds, but you get, right, 
Ferraris and them keys for Ferraris, don't you? Which shop's that at? It's all 50% off. I know, I was just looking how bright this is. Look. It's almost like the van. It flickers oh, like it's a, a gonker. It was flickering before. Yeah. One pound fifty. One fifty. We've come at the right time because everything's reduced. Ah, because it's Christmas will, tomorrow. We'll buy stuff for next year, won't they? That's what we'll do. So. That's small enough at van. Can I have one? Yeah, if you want. A Scottish one. And guess where we're going in a few days? Scotland. What are you doing? I've left you alone for two minutes. That suits you, actually. Christmas, isn't it? Why don't you get it? No, I think it suits you. You've got a bit of red hair. It needs to be there, doesn't it? There you go. Well, the one thing I don't miss is having to put the tree up and put it down and decorate it. But no. look at these. If you can't bother doing your own tree, look at these. The app controlled twinkly lights already. Mm. Look at them. They're beautiful, well, aren't they? I don't think they come with a tree, do they? You just get the lights. So. Oh, right, so you don't get the tree as well? It's just lights, aren't they? Control. Oh, right. How do, you, how do you sort that then so it's in that kind of... Well, you just work, wind it round, don't you, I suppose? Um, aren't they beautiful? App controlled. What isn't app controlled these days? Everything's yeah, on an app, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so you just have them different, probably doing different sequences. You used to have the, the button on the box, didn't you, to swap them? I think you still do do, Mark. It's not a thing of the past. But look at this in here, this is just absolutely off the scale. That ceiling's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. That rope swing. Can that rope swing? <laughs> it's clever, isn't it? Yeah, it's not as big. Since Covid, everything's just gone down size, hasn't it? Look at this one. That's like a German pub or something, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Winter Garden Christmas shop. Look at the, put, look at the beer coming out there. Yeah, beer's coming out, and then look at that pretzel house. Look at that. Man. I guess the six or stand Oh, look, look at that. this. The snowman on his um, ass rink. And you've always got a nativity somewhere, haven't you? There. Yeah. Poppy's bake shop, Mark. And Can the village shop. Can I get something? Yeah, I'm sure there's a part of the motor arm you can pour it in. Garden Centre and sit on Santa with me. Now you can go on a virtual reality sleigh ride. <laughs> that's good, that, Weird, isn't it? Get in your sleigh and go and see Santa. So we'll just come back outside for a sec. Oh. Come and have a look at this. Oh my god. Mm. Looks like you, Lisa. <laughs> And a happy new year. Oh, went a bit funny at the end, then, didn't it? <laughs> Have you just been impressed? I picked this song specifically. <laughs> Redundant or he's gone mute, what do you to? He's not singing anyway, is he? They're brilliant. Well they're like a bottomless snowman. 
What? A bonnable small man. Yeah, yes, aren't we? No idea. Oh, we're still doing Christmas trees, huh? Yeah, this is where you get your fresh trees, isn't it? Yeah, you just give it Pick in. it, pack it, and bag it. 50% off, Mark. That's good, isn't it? Well, how much were the original? It's £19 now without for that. Not bad, is it? Well, that's Mark price, right? so that's a tenner, right? I think we once did a real tree, didn't we? Needles everywhere, never again. Yeah, we have one. And I mean, then we had Woody, Woody chewing it at the bottom, yeah. cocking his leg up on it. <laughs> it's a shame, isn't it, that you know we all get chopped. I mean, you buy them, you can buy them with the roots and stuff on, but people set them in the garden, and uh, yeah, and then they grow if massive. They grow, then they grow massive. Don't yeah, they? It smells lovely in here. Wish you had smell the vision. All I can smell is like Christmas trees. Don't. What? I'm not even going to ask. What? Mark's new mate. You like two peas in a pod. Look, he's even pointing at you. <laughs> Your face. So if you do come to visit here and you fancy treating yourself, there is a cafe and a restaurant here and they do some really nice things as well, really nice like sandwiches, soups mm -hmm. and if you want some things that look a bit expensive, go into the restaurant and get a full meal. Or if you're doing things on the cheap, if you go to the farm shop as you leave, you'll be able to pick up my favourite. Yeah, I forgot about the farm shop. Sausage we'll show roll. you that as well. Is the sausage rolls that he wanted at the other garden centre when we went to Dumfries. I think they do them here, so fingers crossed they've got them for you more. You have to bake them yourself, obviously, but it'll be really good, aren't they? Now, if you're a regular to this channel, you know that I love my Yorkshire tea and we've just spotted some and I've never heard of this and we come from Lancashire. Look at this. In yeah, that gift set there. Like. Lancashire tea? What does Lancashire tea taste like? Lancashire? I'm well, it's made here. Well, obviously. A, that's a proper hamper as well, a Lancashire hamper. Never heard of Lancashire tea. I don't think I'll ever swap from the Yorkshire tea, it's one of the best ones going. You like that, don't you? Mm. Well, it's a gift shop here, look, I love Lancashire. Oh, yeah? I've just seen this while Lisa's around the other side. I've seen this for Lisa, it's a map of places where we can go in the motorhome, but it's actually an apron. I thought it was a good idea and get her that for Christmas. What do you think? Would it be a good idea getting an apron for her for Christmas? She could put it on on Christmas Day, can't she? When she's cooking my food. Now, I've just been told off because I I checked it. I run it by Lisa first, see if she wanted that apron. And she's told me off, haven't you? If you'd have got me an apron for Christmas, what would you have got, ladies? Well, Clip round the What would I got if I got you an apron for Christmas? I got a meal for once. Uh, you wouldn't, no. You'd have been eating it out of the bin because that's where to put your meal. Right, we've made it to the farm shop and I, the first thing I've spotted is something we found in Spain, isn't it? And you tried it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I think you were having a health kick that day. I think, but it, I think it's wasteful though, isn't it? What these, for, or, for oranges. It's one of these big bottles. I think I counted before it were 18 oranges we <laughs> used. 18 full oranges. Yeah, but you couldn't eat 18 oranges. Can you imagine how, no. many, how much sugar's in 18 oranges? My God, I don't think I eat 18 in a year. But we set it off spinning round and pumping them. I didn't realise you had to drain it out as well, so we probably filled the tank up with oranges, yeah. didn't we? We'll give you a buzz, I suppose, won't it? All them oranges in one go. Yeah, so this is where Mark gets all his sausage rolls from. I'm just praying to God they've got them. It's all like organic farm shop stuff in here, like farm farm fruits and veg. You pay a bit more for it, but it is quality stuff. Reminds me of Mark's and Spencer's a bit. Right, please tell me they've got them. Yeah. Oh, they've got loads. That's them, yeah. Honey wells, sausage rolls, six for six fifty, but they are absolutely jam packed full of meat, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, you see them full of meat, but they puff up, don't they? Yeah, well? they do. Cook well in our van, don't they? Slug as well. Sling in the oven for twenty minutes. Well, I normally take a couple out, don't I, and put them in the freezer. Yeah. And then you can just defrost them or cook them from frozen as well. Oh, thank God for that. The thing is with Mark, if, if we want some, he never stops going on about it. Hence the Chinese. Today it's been sausage rolls. That's all I've heard since I got up this morning. Now he's got them. Are you happy? Yeah, but I'm hungry. Oh. 
Right, so we're going to leave Barton Grange. He's got his uh, sausage rolls and it's absolutely throwing it down outside. It is, look at it. It's horrible and it is raining. No, it's not raining. You saw that water there on that water. <laughs> look at this drizzling. here. That's all made of glass, that. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, Does it make you want to go to the toilet? No, I'm alright. I want to get some food. I'm starving. Oh, come on. I'm absolutely going down to nothing here. You've got to feed me. Just round the corner from where the garden centre is, there is a big complex called Gar's Thatched Hamlet. Yeah. Now this place is huge and it's fantastic in the summer. It's not so great in this weather. We've just walked around, haven't we now? Yeah, so. because we've just found out they put a heart barrier on here now, so we can't get the motor home in. So we're just um, parked down the road. It's not the greatest of days to walk. Chico's not impressed. He's had to walk in the rain. But yeah, they do everything here. They do two different places. There's Old Nell's, which we're going to take you into in, yeah, in a minute. It's just like a pub type place, isn't it? Yeah, and then you have got Gar's Thatched Restaurant, um, which is a bit more expensive and a bit more, you know, Fussier, shall yeah, we say? A bit more fancier. Um, yeah, fancier. And they do accommodation here as well. So we'll have something to eat and drink and then we'll show you around. But in the summertime, it's right on the, the riverside. Oh, they're right on the canal and everything. It's right on the canal and and they do. <laughs> and you wonder where he gets it from. And they do picnics and stuff on the side. There's tables outside. So yeah, let's go in and get some coffee or something. Coffee? Some bloody food, never mind coffee. It's what you do. Chico's on, he smackos, because <laughs> that's where he likes. Chico, show him on your jumper. Come here. Look at your jumper. Can you get it from the side there? Look at that. Cheeks. Look at this. Made by one of our subscribers, that. Very clever, Jay. Very clever, and he loves it, as you can see. Does anyone else's chihuahua do that with a paw? Very strange. <laughs> uh, so what have you ordered? Salad. You haven't. Uh, just the fish and chips. Aren't yeah, and I've gone for the chicken burger and chips. Uh, we've come here to try it. We're going to tell you what we think about the food, aren't we? Because yeah. Mark's our second best love after Chinese is, of course, fish and chips. So and batter sausages. And I like batter beef burgers, but they're not quite as popular as they used to be. I wonder why. And then when we go back up to Scotland, it's going to be a batter Mars bar. No, it's not. Is it Cheeks? Mm. Right, Chico. You ready for yours? Yeah. Hey? Yeah, the good thing about this place is they allow dogs in, which yeah. is really good. That's partly why we came in. Yeah. Obviously. We would have had some tw something to eat at the garden centre, wouldn't we, but yeah. they don't allow them. There. Oh, you like them, don't you? Right, that's him gone now. You won't see him for about another 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give him that then. You can get that bit in a minute. Watch, because you don't normally take it off your mark. Let him sit down. There you go. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely, thank you. Ooh, just what I need. A nice big hot cappuccino. So yeah, let's see what this food's like when it comes. Well, wow, look at that fish. Mm. That's a big one, isn't it? That's, that. right, That's a good yeah. portion, that, isn't yeah. it? And I'm on the chicken burger with chips and salad. That's good for me as well. Yeah, well, the, the chips are like, made, aren't they? I don't want all this rubbish here. Rubbish? What? Yeah, it's it's like only pea shoots. It's like they've been outside and cut all edge and just stuck it on my plate. <laughs> So yeah, Mark done doing green. Green peas and that's it. We've got tartare sauce in a pot. Yeah. But this is North Atlantic cod apparently, according to the menu. So. That's bigger, isn't it, mm. that? Mm. Yeah, it's a decent portion of that. Plenty of chips. The chips look like um, chip chop chips, don't they? Yeah, they do. I'll put some salt on. And we have vinegar, because you never have vinegar, do no, you? No, we don't have vinegar you in our say, van. You always say it smells like old men. <laughs> So I'll go first, shall I give it a try? Yeah, let's see what you reckon to this then, fish and chips. The chips look good anyway, don't we like chips at all? Mm. 
to be fair with the chips, it, that is like if you're gonna got them wrapped up in paper like from a chip shop, you they just thought they were from a chip shop. Really? Yeah, it was like no, like chip shop chips. And there's not many pubs you go to where they do it like that. They're like properly cooked from potatoes, aren't they? Let's see what the fish is like. How's your batter? Yeah, it's all right. It's not not dead crunchy, but it's all right. Let's try it. I must admit, it's a mm. decent thickness, that, isn't it? Yeah. Like two, isn't it, really? It's it is, yeah. Out. Yeah, it's good, man. Is it nice? Yeah. Fish is nice and white, and it's flaky, and the batter's <laughs> nice, and it's not dead crispy, but it's all right. <laughs> Much peas, that. Let's see what the peas like. I'll see if I like chip shop mushy peas. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah, it tastes like chip shop ones. They're not just bland, they've got like a bit of flavour in them, so. Yeah, it's good that. I'm gonna eat mine and then you're gonna go have a look at yours, aren't we next? Yeah. One thing I didn't do. Yeah. I do, you, really, do you have lemon on your fish? It's not a chip shop. I thing, think you know. it takes the flavour of the fish away. A lot of people put it on, but you didn't put your tartar sauce on, no, did you? No, but I like that as well, so I'm gonna put some that on and then what, I'm gonna eat it, so. So mine's nice, I'm gonna crack on in a minute. We're just gonna show you Lisa's now, see what we think of. She's got, what have you got? Chicken goo johns. Uh, chicken tenders. Chicken tender sandwich. So that's what you get inside. Some spicy mayo in there as well. Oh, you get loads of them, don't yeah, you? Yeah, no. They're normally quite expensive to buy them. Even from Aldi, about three or four pounds for a few mm. of them, aren't they? With chicken tenders. I think I'll go for it without cutting into it. Uh-huh. Have a taste. Oh, you got spicy mayo on there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's um, I don't know. It's supposed to be spicy mayo sauce, but it tastes. How can I say? It, it is spicy, but it tastes a bit vinegary as well, and I don't like vinegar. And the shame is, it's all over my tenders as well. But I'll eat it, but it's not as I thought it was going to be. It's what you do really impressed with that I must admit it was nice the fish was nice just like it would be from a chip shop big chunks of fish um, the chips I liked as well they were a little bit on the soft side maybe could have done with another minute in the fryer maybe something like that and the mushy peas were fine as well the only thing I didn't like is half a garden pot on the side but that was the thing that upset me actually we put the fish on top of the chips and by the time I took it off the chips had gone a little bit sort of soggy but they were still all right they weren't bad at all really the chips didn't like them so. Rate it out of 10, Mark? Um, I would say 8.5 out of 10. Oh, that's quite high, that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it was quite good, that. Yeah. 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 So what do you think about yours? Well, it started off well. It looked really nice. You haven't eaten it, have you? No. My biggest bugbear when I eat out is getting your chips and something like this because they're all soft mm. and they just don't flip. They're not, they're, the first few were really nice and really hot but they've gone really cold and they're just really soft. I just don't like getting things they in should the have been put on like the, that. They should have been on the plate, shouldn't they, yeah. like mine were. Mine yeah. were a little bit soft but perhaps could have done for another minute in the fryer. But. The chicken, I've given Mark some as well, it's confirmed it with yeah. me really really tough to eat and the chicken it's chicken tenders and i've had to stop eating because i was chewing and chewing it very dry very dry unfortunately and the sauce was all over the sandwich and i've not been able to eat it because i didn't like the sauce so the chicken's been ruined and it was very dry as well there were a lot of sauce on it weren't there a lot of sauce yeah. guys put the sauce on the side let the customer put it on the self because it wasn't my thing oh, at dear. all Oh dear. So no, I've, I've just struggled eating that. Mark's had two pieces of tenders and you've took a while to chew it, haven't you? Yeah, it was in breadcrumbs and not in batter and it's like it's been cooked and sort of been put to one side to keep warm. It was, it looked, the chicken looked good quality, but it's it just not there with no flavour in it or anything. It's not the kind of chicken you'd have on a sandwich because it's very hard to chew, very hard to chew. So unfortunately, that's my plate there. That's what I've got left. I've just been picking at it and giving it it put me mm. off with the bun. The bun was one of them pre-sliced ones. It didn't look very appetising, did it? To be very fair, very thick but. bun as well for a sandwich. Very filling. 
so I'm afraid it's say four. It just, it's all nice and but it's just not my thing. The, the sauce has completely took away the taste of the chicken and the chicken were a bit too tough for me. So that's our honest review of Old Nell's here in Billsborough, isn't it? Yeah, it's near Preston, just outside Preston. Yeah. Um, like I said, we've only tried two meals, not what the rest of the meals are like, but we can only give you an honest review of what we've tried today. The establishment is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's a nice like, theme, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's a old, old, bit like oldie worldy stone floors in the yeah. covenant. Lovely in summer, completely different place in summer. It's gorgeous outside, right on the canal side, like yeah. we said before. So come and have a visit. Just ask for the sauce separately on your sandwich. <laughs> right, we're back to the van, shall we? Yeah, back to the van. Chico's escaped, he's off over there in the corner, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, let's get the dog and let's get moving. Wow, we've just been blown back to the van. <laughs> it's gone stormy, hasn't it? It has gone stormy. So just to recap that meal in uh, Gar's Thatched Hamlet. So that's what it's called, but mm. the part that we went in was called Old Nell's. It Old has Nels. different parts, doesn't it's it? Different parts, there's hotel and everything. Yeah. Uh, part like little rooms and all sorts. But um, yeah, so to recap then with that, you you didn't like yours really, did you? Didn't, it didn't go down well at all to no. be fair. Yeah, mine were fantastic, the fish. I mean, we have to cook fish fresh, you see, and I don't think them chicken and yours were done fresh. I think they were kept warm. So. Oh, well, it was the sauce that ruined it for me. Yeah. So mine was 11 95 yours was? 12 pounds and 95 shillings. Not bad for fish and chips that is it eating mm -hmm. and it was a big piece of fish as well he got yeah. so yeah um, and the drinks and everything it were 31 30 wasn't it 31 30 yeah. altogether with a cappuccino and a pint of cork coca-cola and chico was happy he got some fish as well you got some fish didn't you chico need to get chico's coat off because he, one thing chico does if you don't take his coat off or his clothes he, he rubs against everything is that a chihuahua thing as well so there he is Oh, little cheeks. But, but that's it. when everyone sees Chico, we always say, I can't believe how small he is. Everyone but says that. He looks a lot bigger in real life. But if you look at my, my I haven't got massive big hands myself, but look at how big my hands are compared to him. So it makes it, puts it in a bit more perspective. He's quite a little tiny dog, isn't he? Yes. Brilliant for the van. Oh, and talking of Chico, we, he's got something very, very special sent, and he twice actually, we had two parcels <laughs> all the way from Australia. Richard Wilkinson, we cannot thank you enough for your thank gifts. You. Wow, uh, the first one came and then we got another one. So the first one came, look at this. Look at that for a doggy stocking. Absolutely gorgeous. Aren't you a lucky doggy? The problem is, Richard, we've now got to put stuff in that for him for Christmas. No, we haven't done it yet, and it's tomorrow, isn't it? So we're going to get our <laughs> finger out. Oh, don't worry, he's got stuff to go in it. And the other thing was, the same as this, but I can't I can't put my hands on his black one yet. We've had a black one sent, and we mm. got this one. Which this was the bigger, second, yeah. This was the second one that we got sent. They're quite funny, actually. So Chico is now a security guard, and believe it or not, <laughs> this pink one fits in quite well as well. It's just yeah. a tiny bit big, but you sent this. It's like an overvest. Yeah, so it? it could go over his coat, so he can wear it. He can still wear it over <laughs> his coat. So his black one is perfect. But thank you very much. Thank you and to you and your dog Del Boy. I'll just slip a picture now of Del Boy in. He's been to see Santa Paws, hasn't he? Mm. You didn't get to see Santa Paws this, this year, did you? So yeah, thank you Richard and Del Boy in Australia. Thank you. We also want to thank everybody who has sent us super thanks and coffees this week. Yep. Now someone sent two coffees, five pound each, and you've not left your name. I really do like to thank you, but you've not left your name, so I can't put you on at the end of the credits. If you let me know who you are, it was on the same day, same time, something for Chico and some coffees, mm -hmm. please let me know and I can, put you on the, yeah. I can put you on the end of the vlog. We've also heard from Jill and Pete, who went to Everspains in Bella Medina, where mm. we went, and it were closed. Sorry about that, guys, but uh, not closed for good, but apparently it's been decorated. So good luck there. Better luck next time you go and there. Then they went to Monte, 100 Montaditos. That's like our weather spoon dropping replacement when we're yeah. in Spain, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and there was a little bit disappointed with the size of the sandwiches, which yeah. they are. They? We said that first time around. Look at that! I need half a dozen of them. Yeah, you get a few, but it's still cheap, mm. even if you get a yeah. few. It's, it's, it's typical sort of t a spin off a of tapas, tapas, isn't it? Well, yeah. Montaditos. I think that's what it's called. So. Yeah, so thanks for everybody who's supporting our channel in numerous ways that you can do. You can buy us coffees, 
you can gift us anything on PayPal if you wish and you can even buy the cups, they're still are for sale, you can still buy them, we won't be going to the post office as much now, uh, it'll be after Christmas for definite when you do get a cup if you want to buy one, two, three or how many you want, we have got a limited supply in the motorhome um, and they will be getting posted out from Scotland if you want them won't they? Yes so. definitely will, so tomorrow is Christmas day and guess what? We're having a day off. <laughs> We're going to take Christmas Day and Boxing Day off. But that's not going to stop the vlogs coming out. Um, we're going to try and get them to you as usual on the usual days. So from us, for now, it's going to be Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. And we will see you before the New Year, no doubt, on the channel. So for now, we'll wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, hope you all have a fantastic day. Uh, as we've explained in previous ones, we're heading to Scotland uh, the day after Boxing Day. So that's coming very soon. Uh, spending a long time up there. Keep sending your requests where you want to see us. Yep. Uh, we want loads of loads of ideas. We've had loads of our ideas up to now. Chico's going to walk all over me. One thing we do want to ask you, uh, if you will do a favour for us, is if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We've noticed of late that we're still getting a lot, a lot of views and a lot of people who aren't subscribed. And we do know the people on the TV, it's a diffi difficult sort of thing to do, isn't it? But it doesn't cost you anything. So no. You can gift us a Christmas present that's, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. Subscribing. It does help our channel to grow generally. You yeah, know, yeah. That's a thing. And it's a good, good thing for us, isn't it? <laughs> not just looking at subscribers, but like I say, it's good for our channel. So hit subscribe or get your friends and family to subscribe. Yep. That's the best present you can give the Northerners on tour this Christmas. And let us know in the comments about the food review. It's something we were talking about a while ago. It is our first official food <laughs> review, review. So you know, let us know if you if you liked it. And if, if you, you want, want more, more, yeah. If you want more, let us know. Right, Chico, are we going? We're going. We've got some wrapping to do. Who's got to do a wrapping God, yet? Yeah, mm -hmm. the worst bit, isn't it? Say goodbye to the subscribers. Say goodbye. And we'll catch you on the next one.